What up, gang? Another day in the life with your boy, Sugar Man on that. Survive on my channel every time you slide on my channel, come take a ride on my channel. I won't fail you. Hey, check it out. So we doing some running today. I just finally went and got me a new phone, man. For sure. <laughs> I don't even wanna show y'all my old phone, bro. I'm gonna do it because I got time today. <laughs> Ah, uh, bro, I'm so cheap, bro. I swear I got I'm so cheap, bro. Look at my phone, bro. Look at my case, bro. This is my old case on my phone right here. This is my old phone. Case cracked the whole nine, like, and the phone been overheating for, uh, this ain't the phone I vlog with, though. This is my, like, everyday phone. So I just decided to go on T-Mobile today. And I got good credit on the phone company side. I just had to put down a little deposit. And um, they gave me, they gave me, um, they gave me a new phone. I just went and got the 15. Yeah, I just got, I just went and got the 15. Um, yeah, my, my iPhone every day been overheating on me. Temperatures, hit the comments. Do anybody else phone overheats? Oh, that's the special key. Thank you, love. Uh -huh. Blessings. So, yeah, I went and got that today. I just took my clothes to the cleaner. You know, today I had, um, just left a key in my pants, man. And I had to remember that key. I actually need to put that key on the ring. I'm finna do that next time I stop for gas. We're gonna give me a key. Ring out the gas station and put that on the key. But, uh, But uh, yeah, man. Uh, so anyway, back to the business. Um, today is going to be about going to pick my trailer up today. I'm going to get my trailer from the, the the metal shop or whatever. They remodeled my trailer, put lights around it, and also put mounted the spare wheel on the tongue of it. So and it's raining today. Um, we finna go get that. It's been in there for about a, two weeks or something like that. They put the new lights on it. But this is also the shop that I took my motor to from the DigiScale. And when I took my motor from them to them, they took the manifold bolts out of the motor that was rusty. So they had to heat up the, the heads to get the bolts out, right? Okay. I took it back to the guy's shop who's doing the, the motor work on it. He put it in and said, well, hey, the heads is messed up because whoever heated it up, they froze, you know, the lifters and stuff in there, the push rods or whatever. So I'm gonna stop by the head shop today after I get the trailer from this shop and see exactly what's messed up. Because if they did freeze that, then I wanna see what this motor got. I mean, I'm gonna see what this trailer shop says about doing the welding. You know, y'all froze the heads. Y'all kind of responsible for that. So, but you already know how a situation like that go, man. We're not responsible with this and that, but we, I'm gonna talk to him. I'm gonna see what kind of deal and what kind of break he gonna give me on my trailer. Also, we're gonna go back by the shop and we're gonna, um, go back by the motor shop because of course he got a little scale over there with no heads on it. I got to take him a radiator for it because he need a radiator. He said the radiator busted. It got a hole in it. There wasn't no hole in it before, but whatever. It's a hole in it now. So it got to be fixed. So whatever. I'm going to go get this new radiator and take it to him for a little scale. Also, the Malibu, he said the drain plugs and all of that stuff is bad on the Malibu, which we leaving the stock motor inside of the Malibu. <coughs> I'm not paying another, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going through this with another motor. Now y'all know I'm finna put the motor in the cutlass, so I'm finna take the motor out of the cutlass. 
and I would just have somebody swap that motor because that's a good motor and transmission in the colors. Instead of trying to go through all of what we're going through now, 200 here, 200 here, this and that, I'm not doing that with the colors. I'm not doing that with the Malibu, right? When I take this motor out of Malibu, I'm gonna find somebody who wanna, I'm gonna find somebody who wanna, um, that was on my dual, it was idling high. I'm gonna find somebody who wanna, um, basically swap it over. If you don't wanna swap it over, I'm gonna find somebody who do. But for the meantime, I'm not gonna worry about that. What I'm gonna do for the Malibu today, after I get the trailer, I'm also gonna take the Malibu to the paint shop because right now I'm, I'm kind of just like disgusted with that motor stuff right now, you know what I mean? So the guy from the paint shop ready to get, um, he ready to get jinky on the Malibu right now. He ready to bust it down. He ready to get to it. So I'm gonna let him get to it, you know what I'm saying? Um, we are going with PC paint though, so for the people who um, go ahead in the comments and say, I thought you were just, not. we're still going with PC paint. I'm just not letting PC do it. CJ got his whole uh, gallery over there at PCs. We're in the back ready to get painted. 10 cars in a row, plus the other people. I don't want no parts of that. I'm still going to put a PC paint on there though. You know what I'm saying? Um, for my homeboy, Purple Monte Carlo, that's a PC paint on there. Somebody else just did the work. And I think that's the route I'm gonna go with. So I'm gonna drop the Malibu off today, start letting him get started on the body work. And uh, right before paint, I'm gonna swap the motor out. The motor will be out of my cutlass by the end. And um, by that time, I'll have everything to swap over back into you know, the mount. So that's what we're gonna do. You know, we're gonna snatch that whole motor or whatever out of the, of the, of the, of the cutlass and we're gonna put that in the Malibu. Uh, we're gonna go stock on that. So that's the update for today. That's the beginning of this video, man. I hit y'all when I get to the yard and we get to checking out this new uh, content on my trailer, man, in a minute. Okay, y'all. Got the spare mounted up here, out the way. Okay, got some lights on the side. They so won't run me over. Got the lights on the tailgate. One in the back on the brake light side. Oh, I gotta go get them locks today. Stopping to get them while I'm on the road. Yeah, that's what I want. So, Cause from the back, we can see on the fender, on the car on the middle part, you can see on the fender, right here on the bottom and up there. Oh, them things are way brighter than those. Yes, sir. You get to see me from the side, when we put it on the side. And then we got the three in the front up here. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Some old lights on the trailer. Just make it make it look better. Yeah, there we go. That's what I need. Some old lights on there, Joker Jack. I think that's cool. That's another light. Got my spare tie. Only thing else I'm gonna do probably tomorrow is I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna rhino my bed. Yeah, I'm gonna do black rhino on my bed all the way down the back and the bottom. And I'm pretty much, pretty much cool after that. I'll probably put some old, uh, what's the names on there? Some electric stripe, whatever. Let, uh, uh, graphic tape. But for the most part, next two things is buy that Rhino bed liner and um, um, buy me some locks for my, my gates. So we won't have that problem no more. Yes, sir. But I think it's cool, y'all. I like it. Just put me some lights on the bottom and on the back so you can see them down there bright, them even brighter. You know what I'm saying? I should have changed them to the ones down there. Ain't no nothing. Them little red ones. 
them little joints. I mean, they cool, but they ain't like the ones he got on that thing. And I know the camera, y'all don't really do it no justice, but that one on that fender is way brighter than the one he got right here, but it's cool. That was a bag right there. Move a little step at a time. You know what I'm saying? Step at a time, Jack. I'm gonna clean it up. Put some more black spray on the ramps and stuff where it's a little rusty looking. Paint that black. Just touch it up a little bit, but for the most part, I'm lit up. So now I'm ready for the road. Got new tires on here. Got me a spare. Only other thing that I really want to do that I actually need today, and I wish I had a did it, but I, I'll do it probably next week. I'm going to get me uh, the roller thing. I'm going to mount it up here somewhere. I'm going to get it up here. I'm going to mount it up here. I'm going to get the roller thing so I can roll my car up. You know what I'm saying? Because today, my battery is real dead on my car, and I'm actually going to go get the T-Rex, too. So, you know, for the most part. I'm going to show it to y'all a little later on today, though, too. But that's cool. I got my little lights on here. I'm happy for that at the moment. You know what I mean? Got that old dually truck and trailer lit up coming down the E-Way. You understand me? Yeah. Let's go in here and worry about this balance and talk to him, though. I'll get with y'all. As soon as I'm done handling this business. Yes, sir. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, he got trailers and stuff. Ramps. Bumper. All right, so we did go get the KX subframe back because I broke it in the last video. Overstretching it like a bozo. put on here right here just gotta go get this powder coated anyway you know got a little firm weld on that joint thick weld too Yeah, so we got this out the way now. So we'll be back on the KX here shortly. Old KX 500. That's right, Jack. Yep, that went exactly how I thought it would go. Like my man just said to me, he said, look. He said, hey. <laughs> I welded a hundred motors, semi truck motors, tractor motors. I ain't never had that issue to where I froze no head up, welding nothing or taking no manifold bolt out. So I knew how that would go anyway. I was already ready for that response. So I'm not gonna stress myself with that part of the situation. It is what it is. Um, we finna go to this machine shop, man. I'm finna stop at this machine shop and see what they talking about. But the trailer looking good behind us. It got lights on it from the back. I know it's gonna be lit up. We're gonna take a road trip tonight with the T-Rex. It's probably gonna be on the next video for tomorrow. But um, I'll be, we'll be taking a road trip today. And uh, we, we're gonna see what them lights look like when we lit up on the highway. Cause you can actually see the lights from here. So we got some big bright LEDs on there, so. Uh, we're gonna stop by the we're gonna stop by the the the, the head shop though real quick and see what they talking about, man. It's a lot of back and forth running around stuff going on, you know. In a minute. See you trying to slide. Cause if you gang, you ain't gotta act if I want you to slide. Let's bust a move. You supposed to do it without me telling you to do it. Let's bust a move. And that's just on GP with it. You say you want to ride. Yeah. When you see your brothers and where they lack at. I see you trying to slide. Yeah. You go run and you pick up that slack. That's why some move. That's keeping it gangster to me. That's why some move. Not friend to yeah. move for clout. Mm -hmm. And you might know some people that might need to listen to this song before they get the bus and move. Because the trail, you gotta expect that. And even if it don't happen, be ready for it. Cause catching you off guard is what fucks you up the most. 
And you gotta understand, everybody ain't built like you. Not everybody gonna handle every situation the same like you. Sometimes people have different definitions to loyalty. So when they eyes, they did nothing wrong. You gotta accept them for who they are. And when they show you who they is, believe them. The motor shop was closed, uh, whatever. The fabrication shop was closed, whatever. Whoever do the head work, they was closed. So cool, I already know the vibes. I'm gonna check on him in the morning and get, um, I'm gonna check on him in the morning, get the price for them heads. I ain't gonna cry with sport milk. However, whenever it got messed up, whatever, it gotta be fixed. You got the Chevy over there at the shop. You got the motor busted down right now. You waiting on, um, waiting on the heads to come back so tomorrow i'm gonna get the heads and i'm gonna get the new radiator i'm gonna get that out the way and um we're gonna get that motor back going and then as soon as we do that we're gonna come back over here to the paint shop so they can get back on the paint and get ready to get that done but for the meantime i took the malibu from over there and when i took the malibu from over there um i just brought it to the paint shop so they're gonna start on the body work now i'm gonna put the motor in the cutlass so i'm gonna take the 350 out of there so I'm gonna put the whole drivetrain inside of the Malibu. It is what it is, bro. I ain't, you know what I mean? I'm gonna take it out anyway. So, so I'm gonna take that whole drivetrain and put it in here. So there we go with this right now. <clears throat> Got the shit in the Malibu. This is the beginning of the Malibu, man. Coming to the shop, getting ready to get this gem painted. Um, for those who haven't really seen it already, a lot of y'all been watching the old videos. And it's gonna be a short video today. I'm just basically updating y'all on what's going on. I'm a little irritated, so I didn't really vlog the Chevy when I pulled up, which I am gonna get back over there. Probably get a little vlog real quick, you know what I'm saying? And um, this is what the Malibu looking like, dropping it off at the beginning for the paint shop. Got body work on here. My boy gonna get me together, you know what I'm saying? Oh. New hinges, of course. Interior trash. Throw all of that away, you know? So, that's how we looking at the bottom. Gotta get the new fillers. It's cool. So like I said, for those who just never seen the car already, Definitely got to get new hinges and everything, you know? What up, OG? We back again. It's time to stay. Huh? Yeah. Motor shop when I got frustrated over there. So I'm like, you know what? I got one car over there. I'll just bring this one over here. I'm going to get this one fairly knocked out. You ready to tackle that junk? Ain't no problem to you. Yeah, take the mirror off. I told him we're gonna take the doors off, the trunk and we're gonna take the hood off. We're doing a complete color change on here and we're going with that wet wet this time. Real exotic on the paint side, this rip. We ain't going basic like we did the Malibu, I mean the box here. Man, we going crazy on this. This is gonna be the one. Everything come out. As the carpet come out, throw that in the trash. <laughs> take the dashboard, we're gonna throw the carpet away. You know what I mean? These right here, throw that away, throw that away. Yeah, I'm going to buy one and just have it wrap. Yeah. I'm going to buy one and have it wrap. But that carpet can... Nah, we ain't tripping on that at all. Yeah, we ain't tripping on that. We're going to keep this. We're going to keep that, though. We're going to keep the chrome piece. But if you... Yeah, that carpet. Cut around that carpet and throw it out. We ain't tripping. No, no. That's... Okay, well... I'm just saying, if you working right there, this is, yeah, I ain't tripping on the carpet. We're going new carpet. So, other than that, yeah, everything else. 
everything come out. Though. Yeah. Turn on the mom and pop it, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Everything coming out. Everything coming out. Doors coming off. I'm getting new, new uh, hood hinges. I mean, Do hood hinges for sure. Yeah. Door locks. Door locks. Okay. New one of them. You know what I'm saying? So handles, everything coming off. We're going complete color change. So, yeah. You doing your dope Uh, I got a guy up in. Uh, I, actually, I don't know who gonna do them yet. I, I haven't got that. I'm, I'm networking with a lot of shops right now. So, yeah, I'm on. I'm on the networking side. Yeah, I, I ain't just sticking to one shop. I'm whoever want to get busy, whoever want to get some money with me, put some respect on it. That's who I'm rocking with. I'm sorry. Uh, it didn't come with one. It didn't come with one. Yeah. So, um, yeah, this the vibe, man. We getting molded all the around here, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think these ones is dry rotted, so I'm gonna have to buy yeah. some new ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah all of them is dry rotted. So I'm gonna have to actually have to buy some new ones. I ain't tripping. That's all that's trash. Actually, when you get to working on it, take them all out. Just take them all out, set them to the side. I'm gonna come and grab them. This council in the middle, take that council out the middle too. Y'all can leave it in the shop. I don't care what y'all do with it. Yes, sir. And as far as that key, you can't turn it all the way back because it's gonna lock the steering column. Well, we'll take it out. Just take it out. When you do get ready. Complete color change on this baby though. It's in your hand. Take this off. Take this off. We'll have to get that bumper off the front, get that bumper off the back because we'll have to get that uh what's the name straightened and I'm gonna bring y'all the what's the names. Yeah. We got to might as well take the bumper off the front end back. Get them junts out. I'm gonna go get the bumpers polished, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, go get them redipped. So just when you when you get a chance, just take them off. Take all that stuff off, and I'll be ready for you, baby. Yes, sir. Get straight down the biz and I eat and I'm up out of here. Corey, I'm gone, brother. Okay. I'll catch you when I get back. All right. All right, bro. Be safe, man. Yes, sir. Got to hit this road, baby. Right. You know the vibe. All right. All right. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. I want to go dip. The type of paint that I'm putting on here, I'm going to go all chrome. You will see the paint. When you see it, you're going to be like, okay. We ain't, we ain't, we ain't going to cut no corners on the, on the trim or the bumper. We want to drop that gun in a new set of chrome. You feel me? Okay, you're going to trim out too, right? Everything. 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 Trash. 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 Everything. I'm going new everything, OG. We're going to spend some money in the paint on this car. Yes. No, we keeping this just because yeah, we're gonna no, we gonna refurbish these, but them emblems I can buy brand new. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, take them off and give me them. These right here. Take this off. Give me this. That one I'll give me that one. You know what I'm saying? Give me this one, give me this. Give me all of these right here. Yes, sir. And give me the one in the back. And then yeah. That you can yeah. So that went, yeah. Yeah. So it's on you, OG. I'm up out of here though. All right. So y'all look, it wouldn't be right for me finishing this video out without taking y'all to see Lil DJ Skill. Um, so I'm gonna take y'all to see Lil DJ Skill because I told you I'm gonna walk y'all through the process. In a way, I'm gonna build no car and I'll let y'all in on the process. So we dropped the Malibu off at the paint shop. We're gonna wait for him to get his mind together and stuff like that. And um, basically get to working on that junk. Um, we're gonna go all the way in on the paint job on that one. We ain't going basic on that one. We ain't going regular degular. We ain't going none of that. You know what I'm saying? So. Um, I'm going to take y'all through the process on that. And I'm going to strip the motor up out my cutlass and I'm going to get that. But I'm going to take y'all to see the digit scale and the process that he got it in right now by the heads getting did. So um, I ain't going to cut no corners with y'all. I don't care what I do. I ain't cut no corners. I'm going to take y'all every step of the way when it's good, when it's bad, when it's everything. And today been one of them days I'm kind of all over the place with the video. And it's going to be a sort of a short video. So, um, but we got the trailer. Got the Malibu off at the paint shop. And we also finna get a little DJ scale, which I'm finna give y'all that right now. I'm finna actually show y'all what stages it's in right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna give y'all some lights. This is the old radiator. That's all busted and beat up. You know what I'm saying? 
So we're gonna get that one up out of here. We're gonna go order the new one. Also, this is the motor. How we looking? Put the down. We gotta put new glasses. So basically, basically, we some water. Once again, busting that gun back down. Back to the motion. Superstar and supercar, boosting down the boulevard. Pontiac G6 roof open up and shuffle like a deck of cars. Locked in and I'm side betting. Up the bat, who back catching? When I turn the block and that drop, paint flop look like the sun setting. Tussle with you, I wouldn't dare. The nigga better not blow my hair. Both these switches go off, think I'm getting executed. So it's a bit of a process, man. Um, then I've got not just one project, I got two projects in the making. And I'm supposed to be buying my third project next week, so. Um, <laughs> you know what's going on Then we gotta go back to the top shop Because we gotta do some more stuff on that But we're gonna do that after we get done with the paint So all of these is processes On building the vehicle You know what I'm saying So I mean it is what it is This is a challenge I took upon And when you get started ain't no turning back And on top of that when I like to start something I like to finish it anyway You know what I mean and A lot of stuff gonna come in between um, When you're building the whip You know what I'm saying So as y'all see with this, you know, coulda, woulda, shoulda, whole bunch of that, but you know, you're gonna always run into stuff. Stuff ain't gonna never go as planned. So you gotta, you know, kinda go with the flow and keep on looking. We got bill sheets in there, <laughs> parts store stuff. Top gotta go back, body smooth though. Got a little more touching up to do on the body. And um, after that, you know, we going all the way in, Jack, LS Box Chevy, man. We're gonna put them grown men on it. Y'all know the other rims is here from um, for T Rex, so you know the ones on T Rex is going on here. We're gonna, this is our last week riding them before we go ahead and bust it down. You know what I'm saying? But you know, I'm definitely going to end this video showing y'all what's going on with little Digi Scale. You know what I'm saying? Start not just talking y'all to death, so definitely want to end this video like that, man. Give y'all the content, like I say, when it's good, when it's bad. I'm going to take y'all behind the scenes with everything, you know? So, once again, they like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, wasn't very talkative. I don't think y'all like my talking anyway from the comments. Y'all say I talk too much. Y'all rather, con rather the content. So, it is what it is. Today ain't the day that I'm going to talk anyway. A lot of y'all think it's motivational. A lot of y'all don't. But um, short video, if you like and subscribe. I catch y'all on the next video with the update. By the time I do come back with this one, she should be running with the new heads on, with the new radiator in. Soon, I gotta go to the exhaust shop, which I'm waiting until I put the wheels on. And then um, get the paint, of course, go back to the top, put all the trim and stuff on. So it's a process, man. Um, y'all rocking with it, just stay tuned to the next video if you ain't. Leave a comment, tell me you ain't. I know y'all don't got no problem doing that. So anyway, I'll catch y'all next drip, man. Stay tuned to the next video. Every day they can't ride my way. Filling up the safe, they can't ride my way. Twenty dollars for the T two hundred for my J. But that jewelry on my T it cost me sixty k. Two day run on the road, it felt like sixty days. Soon as I got off that bitch, we ran up sixty blades. Instantly the prices drop. I tell you know what's up with me. Hating niggas tryna shop. You know you don't fuck with me. Pull up, I take up two spots.
success and fuck the club. We how you now you trash. That's worth the bubba dub. I know, I know, I know they don't like me. I'm gon' keep on put it in they face. I know they don't like me. I'm gon' keep on put it in they. I know they don't like me. I'm gon' keep on put it in they face. I got houses everywhere. Can't no bitch put me in my place. LV on me, GG on me, DD on me, ABC. Orgies on the candy on it. I love Sugar man. It's long overdue, nigga. It's yours truly, the big homie, baby. Tapping all the way in. We talking that yank, Nick. Gillette, Illinois, to the motherfucking world. Yeah. Now one bike life. Chicago was popping, nigga. Let's get it. A lot of y'all been hitting me up. Wanna know how I've been doing lately? Hey, sugar man, we going down through that, nigga. Don't play with this shit. Don't play with this shit. Don't play with him, nigga. Big box Chevy rider, nigga. Skrrr! A lot of y'all been hitting me up. Wanna know how I've 